Kia ora, maroha. Kia ora, what's up? I'm Tiffany, and welcome to the first ever episode of The Real. On this episode, we talk to Aotearoa hip hop pioneer DLT. And we're going to the depths of Radio Kahungunu to meet our sister, Crystal Edwards. Where we're bringing you the people. The go papa. The, the real. real. Y'all know the name. <laughs> And first up is our very special segment with our kaumātua, Messages from the Motu. And this is where we go to our kaumātua and get the values and all the whakatauki from them. First up, we've got Nanny Piki from Waipatu Marae. To our youth out there, come back to your marais. There is great values on your marae. You need to learn respect. So that's where you will learn it. Haramai ke kunai. I think Nanny Picky hit the nail on the head, bro. What do you think? Boom, I reckon definitely because, you know, connecting with the roots is definitely the answer to the world's problems. But more importantly, we want to know what you think. So if you can comment on our Facebook page, you can find us all over social media. The Real NZ, all day. All day. All right, next up, we're going to have a chat to our bro, DLT in the studio. Check it out. This Hawks Bay native was part of one of New Zealand's first pioneering hip-hop acts, Upper Hut Posse in the late 80s. But he made a name for himself when he produced New Zealand's first hip-hop number one, Chains, featuring Shay Fu. Tēnā tātou, kei te whare i nāe nei, ko DLT, kia ora e hoa, mō hi a koe. Mums from Omahu, dads from Wainui Amara via Europe, so somewhere in between there. Our message from the Motu this week, cuz, is, is from Nanny Picky. And she pretty much talks about going back to the marae to learn to learn values, cuz. What's your thoughts on that? Nanny Picky is 100% correct in the sense that we've lost our way spiritually as a people. And uh, one of the major sources of that spirituality besides the urupa is the marae. Is your mahi that you do through the arts the draw card that you think will bring the youth back to the marae? Yeah, yeah certainly. Art and music are um, something that you can teach. Whereas everything else is just robotics. So, um, yeah, in, in relation to the, the welfare of Wairua and Whatsimanua and the likes, yes, music and art are the only communicators to those realms. So, cuz you come from a pretty arty far now. Want to tell us a little bit about that? My brother and sister and myself are products of Morainui, 1970s housing estate, uh, where you had nothing, no dad, no nothing. Not everyone, but a majority. <laughs> probably 90%, and uh, you had to create a life for yourself with nothing. So pen and paper on. We're um, designers and conceivers and conceptualizers, so that comes from that. It's, yeah. The hood is good for some things. <laughs> so, cuz you've done this beautiful, beautiful piece here for us, and you pretty much gave the real set life. Uh, Want to tell us a little bit about how you came up with it, cuz? Of course, in graffiti, the the law is, there is no law. Hip-hop's about expression, so what you're feeling on the day basically comes out. You can tap that, you're into Wairua world again. So what inspires you? Cars tapping into the ancestral vibration and writing it. Mm. So, so you can honestly say that I ain't painting it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty deep. I mean, is that what you're going to teach us sort of rangatahi? Yeah. That's what I've been teaching for 30 years. <laughs> Tap into the next dimension where their guidance is there, alive and vibrating. Like pukana, you're poking your head up into their world and, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's deep shit when you're Māori. It's deep. Mm. So, Kaz, what does hip-hop mean to you, bro? The, the essence of hip-hop and the elements is to bring peace within yourself. So once you can find that, you don't have to run around doing everything all the time. The whole point of hip-hop is to find yourself. Once you find yourself, then you can serve your immediate community and be a, an awareness of yourself, you know? So instead of us um, giving off negative energy, we want to be giving off positive energy. That's the whole point of it. Mm, that's a good thing to be teaching the youth about. You can't teach it, you can only show it. Yeah, no, that's so true. That's why I am saying what I'm saying and being the way I am. Always some hearty piccato from our brother DLT. Yeah, ha, DLT always was bringing the real. Uh, next we're going to talk to Crystal at Radio Kahungunu. Cheers.
on air by day, but you can see her ripping it up on the Kapahaka stage by night. Our wahine toa from Bridge Park is never short of a word to say. Kia How are you? Good, good. Uh, so for those who don't know you, no hair queer. And... Oh. Okay, uh, well, then I'd like to call Crystal a hoe, or call Crystal Edwards a hoe, no, uh, good name, no, Nati Kahunganu, go to a happy at the Marae, but not to get the Kato, who you know, uh, no Nati Ha, we at the Hapu, Kungati Kahunganu, we, uh, but not to get, um, Chiranganu Yaki, who can get a headquartered one, no, then, uh, so yeah, just from here. You've been a busy girl, talk a little bit about what you're doing in school. Oh, okay, so, um, during the day, yeah, so during the day I go to Te Ahoa Maui, also known as um, EIT, so Te Ahoa Maui is our new ingwa. And um, I just finished a degree in Māori, so that was last year, and now I'm doing a diploma in screen production. By afternoon, I'm here at Radio Kahungunu, um, that is the Rangatahi announcer. And then by night, I do night classes, and one night class is um, Māori Performing Arts degree with um, Awa Nui Yarangi, and that's with my kapahaka rōpū here, Pareāro. Mm -hmm. And then on the Thursday night, I do um, Te Pina Kitanga with um, Te Wānango Aotearoa, just to keep the reo going, because that's where I do want to do most of my mahi within the Māori sector, so um, so that my reo doesn't mimiti noa to I go to there, yeah. So you do music too, eh? You haven't told anyone that. No, no, I keep that on the bit of a DLs, but I don't know why, but um, that is part of it. That is definitely part of it. Um, with the music though, my music is to attract our youth mm. to get back into te ao Māori. Mm. And that's what I like to rap about, it's a lot more, well yeah, so yeah, a bit of a rapper. I don't try and take the vocals on, because mm. mm, yeah, my vocals are not too flash. On that buzz, on that buzz and trying to attract the youth and stuff. Mm, mm. You know, our, our message from the Motu is from, from Nanny Picky mm. Wanitana, mm -hmm. and she, she talks about going back to the marae to, yeah. to learn these values and stuff that, you know, that is obviously, you know, it's been around for a long time, you know. Mm. Um, you know what, what are your thoughts on that? You know? oh. Tautoko ngā kōrero katoa a Nanny Pake, instead of just saying tangihana oi, and oi. Um, hura koha to of um, veilings, yeah. always at our marae, you know, it's sort of like that's yeah. the only time you gather get there, together, yeah, eh? yeah. You know, we need to get back, get our kids back into kapahaka, yeah. maybe look at, um, uh, you know, starting up holiday programs instead of going, you know. Music workshop. Music workshop, anything, Radio exactly, workshops. yeah, you know, you can, like all of these can be directed to our marae, it's just, I don't know what it is with our motu, eh? They just, um, I guess they see the benefits of going somewhere else mm. or awa. But yeah, I definitely think that a lot of our Māori whānau need to hook in my kite marae. And, and like you said, start these workshops up. Uh. Well, chat, that's us whānau. Um, thank you, Crystal, for jumping on the show. If you fellas want to listen to her show, when can they hear you online? Uh, four to seven, Monday to Friday. Uh, our frequency is 94.3 FM, 7.65 AM, so yeah. Trina and Trina to the sister. Too much crystal for the mean corridor at Radio Kahungunu. I think I'll just stick to putting songs on the radio, sis. And up next, we catch up with the lovely Ponamu who's dropping the knowledge. Hello, everyone. Ponamu here. I have a question from Benjamin. My high school rugby coach likes to shout us boys a beer after a good game. I'm only 17, it's one beer, so that's okay, right? Well, Benjamin, I did some research for you and found through the Sales and Supply Act 2012 that actually it's not okay. He has to have permission from your guardian or parent about you drinking alcohol. He has to have it through a text, an email, or a personal conversation they had. I hope that helped. Kakite. Wise words, Ponamu, wise words. Hard, hard, and we want to hear from you fellas. So jump on our Facebook page, leave comments, and tell us the what ups. But for now, that's us. Later. Yeah, I loved it. Later. Hope you enjoyed it. Other way. Other way, bro. The real.